You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. At dollarseed.com, all of our seeds are only a dollar a pack. And we have online resources that teach you all about the rewarding hobby of growing your own plants, flowers, herbs, and vegetables. Imagine the joy you'll feel when your children actually help you harvest your first garden crop. Or the pride of knowing you'll never need a florist again. Visit dollarseed.com and grow a little magic of your own for just a dollar. dollarseed.com. What could be healthier? Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another incredible episode of Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeart Radio, and I'm your host, Dini. We have a very special guest for you guys, so you definitely want to stick around for that. And as a matter of fact, uh, go ahead and text your buddies or your family members or even share it on social media right now and let them know that we are about to dive deep into another interview. Before we bring our guest on, I do want to say that dream big dreams you have to man you have to if you continue to come across challenges that make you want to give up then your dream is not big enough your goal is not compelling enough have you ever wondered how many people give up when they're just one day short of reaching their goal what a shame that would be to come all that way to do all of that work for nothing just to be stopped by the last obstacle in your path The possibilities for your life are far greater than any challenge that may come your way. So if the challenges seem too big, then raise your expectations. Expand your dreams. Go for something you really, truly desire. You know, something that's going to make a difference in your life and something that will inspire you to get past any obstacle standing in your way. Live for something more than just getting through the day. Dream big dreams. Set ambitious goals. What have you always wanted to do, be, have, or even experience? Go for it. Denny is telling you to go for it and let your passion pull you forward. Take that from me, Coach Denny. That is my word, and word is fun. Have you struggled budgeting your finances? Don't worry, you're not alone. Humbledbudget.com, that's H-U-M-B-L-E-D-B-U-D-G-E-T.com is the help and resource you've been searching for. Humbledbudget.com is a personal finance and educational website with a great variety of topics when it comes to budgeting, taxes, investing, and the popular topic of FIRE, financial independence, retire early. Humbledbudget.com has a goal, and that's to help you reach your financial dreams no matter what your goals are when it comes to finances it doesn't matter where you start where you come from or where you are right now humbledbudget.com can help what are you waiting for take that first step to the financial life you've dreamed of and go to humbledbudget.com that's h-u-m-b-l-e-d-b-u-d-g-e-t humbledbudget.com Hey, 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 again, welcome to the show. You're listening to VRL. That's Vigilantes Radio Live right here on iHeartRadio. And I'm your host, Dini. Our interviews are designed to go beyond music, news, books, art, acting, films, technology, education, entrepreneurship, entertainment, and sometimes even past that thing that we call the ego. Our interviews are designed to go behind the scenes and into the minds of these awesome human beings, you know, the ones who are out there giving it their all for me, for you, and for the world. Today, we are joined by Adam DeGrade, uh, creator, instigator, and coordinator of the Adam Music Project, which has recently released its latest album. It is called Apex Rising Part 2. 
this album is a hard rock masterpiece consisting of seven tracks, each based on a character from the popular video game Apex Legend, which my brother can really talk about for days. But all right, let's go ahead and get Adam on. Hey, 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 welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you here today. How are you, Danny? Nice. Thank you so much for having me. Hope everyone's having a great night tonight. Yes, yes, indeed, man. We are excited that you are here. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. I really appreciate the time. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So Apex Legends is like my brother's favorite game at the moment. That's awesome. You know? That's awesome. Uh, it's awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's awesome for you guys who love Apex. But, man, we're trying to get to the other titles, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't, it's funny that you said that because Out of Music Project is a, stands for Artist Developing Astonishing Music. Mm. And a couple of years back, um, I've been involved in independent, you know, music production and, and uh, promotion. I've owned my own independent record label for years and uh, had many great artists signed over the years. A, a band called Aranda, which actually went to Wind Up Records, toured with Daughtry, Three Doors Down. They were recently on Shipwrecked with Falling in Reverse. And then I've had bands like No More Kings that are just absolutely amazing. We actually uh, uh, created a video called Sweep the Leg, which had the original cast of The Karate Kid. Long before Cobra Kai, I might say. Nice. And uh, we, did th- we did that together. And so, you know, and then there's Dirt Poor Robbins and Solar and David Martin and a bunch of great acts that I had on it. But as time went on, my, my wife said to me a couple of years ago, she goes, you know, you love music so much. You know, you've never done your own project. Why don't you do something? And I said, you know, I don't really have <clears throat> anything that I need to say. Like, I don't have angst. I don't need to change the world. And I'm like, you know, but I love video games. And so I said, what if I did hard rock albums and I partnered with other amazing independent artists from all walks of life and we came together to make rock centric music about the video games we love. And I've been dedicated Apex Legends player since day one. And they had so many characters, it just made a sense to start there. However, Dini, I'm in Oklahoma City right now as we speak, Mm -hmm. recording 12 new songs for the fall. And those songs are about Bowser, Princess Peach, Donkey Kong, uh, Jill Valentine from Resident Evil, Jill from The Last of Us. So the Adam Music Project is not only going to be making songs about Apex Legends, but we will be making rock songs about a many amazing video game characters, including and not limited to Yoshi, who my man Pete Mitchell is in town from No More Kings, actually going to be recording. And then a song called Eating Ghosts, which is going to be a duet between Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man. So if you love rock music, you're going to love the Out of Music Project. If you like video games, you might like a few songs of the Out of Music Project. But if you love rock and you love video games, you're going to be blown away with what we're doing at the Out of Music Project. Man, I'm glad you said that, Adam. That changes things. Uh, Now I could get off Apex. But (laughs) so, (laughs) you know, so every gamer's dream, me and my wife, we game together. One of our main things that we love to do is listen to music and game at the same time. But sometimes, you know, the music will, you know, outpower the the game music or the game sounds, Um, especially if you're playing Apex or Call of Duty. You got to hear the footsteps, right? Um, But man, what you're doing, I think, is perfect. So tell us about, like, how your project combines your passion for both music and gaming and how, like, you just brought the two fields together and how they influenced your life well you know so this is a story i tell people on the last couple of interviews i've had actually this is my third interview today basically what happens is is when i was a young a young boy probably eight or nine years old my dad was a disc jockey in new england so his name was gary degrade my grandfather was a disc jockey gene degrade my other grandfather was a disc jockey bob lachance so my brother and i were raised in a van on the road my parents had a band we traveled everywhere. I watched my uncles and my aunts and my mom and dad all make music. So music was ingrained in us, but I'll never forget the day that I fell in love with rock music. My dad came back from the station and he was given promotional copies of albums and also, you know, vintage copies of albums as well too. And I was a young boy and my brother was a young boy and he came home and he had Queen and he had Kiss. And he said, Adam, you're the oldest, you picked first and I chose Kiss which is rock and roll. And my brother's more of a pure artist. He went with Queen. And from the moment I first heard Love Gun and I heard uh, you know all those songs, I'm like, man, I was hooked on rock. And so rock has been in my blood forever. Music has been in my blood forever. 
Radio has been in my blood forever. I'm sure you could probably tell that a little bit. I, I almost have the voice for radio. You do. And, uh, at the, and at the end of the day, it was about – I've always loved video games. So when Commodore 64 came out, I'm aging myself right now, which is cool because I'll tell you a little bit more about the project as well too. My brother and I had Commodore 64, and my brother would literally program video games that I would play when I'd get home from school. This is before video games even existed. I was playing little miniature video games that my brother created. So we've always been involved in gaming and rock music, and that's how the two came together. And what's really cool about the Adam Music Project is that the people that have joined me along this, along this road are different genders, different cultures, um, you know, different styles of music that they bring to the table. But we all bring the, the love of gaming, and they also trust what we're doing from a rock perspective. And the art, ages of the artists range from 19 years old to 51. Now, Dini, I'm not going to tell you to guess my age, but I'm on the higher side of that. And at the end of the day, um, I've never lost my energy. I've never lost my passion. And I'm doing something that I love to do and bringing people together, man. And you come together. There's no set agenda. We don't have to worry about a brand. I don't have to worry about my brand. I don't have to worry about this. I just have to make great music with great melodies, with ridiculous instrumentation, top-tier production about the things that we love in our lives right now, and magic happens. And, you know, we've released 15 songs to date. Apex Rising Part 2 is the most recent EP we've released. Our full LP, which is called Apex Risen, which sounds to me like you'll be glad because that means I'm done with Apex. Apex Risen comes out on Cinco de Mayo, and there's 20 songs featuring 25 different contributors to the project. So it's a ton of fun. I've never had more fun in my life. My boy Pete Mitchell from No More Kings just flew down from Denver. He's performing, as I said, tomorrow in the studio for the album that comes out this fall. But trust me, this will not be the last time you hear about the Adam Music Project. Man, that's dope. So you mentioned like there's 25 different moving parts or key players uh, to the whole Adam Project music project. Um, man, it's quite an army of talented singers and musicians uh, for the album. What was your criteria for choosing them? You have to be able to sing really good. You have to be able to perform really well. And you have to be the top tier notch in your field. And so, you know, we've brought in all walks of life from all different genres, but if you listen to the tracks, which I'm sure you have, you've maybe heard one or two of them, mm -hmm. they're pretty intense. I mean, we try to keep true to the characters, but it's rock-based. And it's rock-based in the sense, Dini, which is really cool about this, is I don't have to worry about being completely current sound-wise right now. I can have hints to modern rock, hints to old 80s rock, hints to 90s, hints to the 2000s, the 2010s, and even further back if I want to go, because the integrity of the songs have to stand on their own, and the subject matter has to be true to the character in which we're writing the song about. And so, you know, Yo a song about Yoshi, a dinosaur that, you know, throws out eggs, you know, it's going to be a lot different than Revenant, which is a song about a guy who's a demon character, and we wrote a song called I Bring Death. Those are two extremes of the pie, yet they still fall into a rock field, and the melodies are fun, catchy, and people are going to have a great time listening to the music. Absolutely. What about the lyrical process? Um, how was that? How did that go? That's a, been a, that's a lot of fun because many of these characters have backstories, and so you mm -hmm. can learn deeply about their backstories, which creates a lot of creativity. So the current focus track we have on our current EP is called I Bring Death. And so when you listen to it, which I'm sure you have, you can hear like it starts with a deep organ, very much a throwback to like Vincent Price or the old Michael Jackson thriller. However, I give a tap to, uh, you know, tap on the hat to Prince on the opening of that particular track. The song's got killer guitars. It has the guitar player in that song is Eric Gillette, who's the guitar player for Mike Portnoy, who's the drummer for Dream Theater. So the guitarist for the drummer of Dream Theater performed on I Bring Death. He shreds like an animal. And then Damien Aranda and I wrote the song. And the song is about Revenant, who basically is a dark character in Apex Legends. And the way we looked at him is that he almost represents a devil-like character. So the lyrics are very dark. I'm sure as you can tell from talking to me, if you met Damien, we're not people of darkness. We're very much people of light. But at the end of the day, it's not about us. So when we're writing lyrics and we're performing music, it has to be kick-ass, 
and more importantly, it has to represent the character well. And if you go to our YouTube page and you check out the videos we've created around that song, your listeners will be able to see that the fans of Apex Legends that know Revenant know we crushed it. But mm. even if you don't know who Revenant is, <clears throat> if you like metal and you like that kind of vibe, and, and you're going to get the vibe right away. You're going to say, this song's awesome. And one of the very important things about that song for us, when you talk about lyrical process, was not only did it have to be authentic, but I wanted it to be if you put the headset on and you were sitting in a chair, it would almost scare you a little bit. Mm. Because as the melody's going, we have like, it's almost like two demons are sitting on your shoulder whispering along with the melody. It's supposed to make you feel a little bit intense, a little bit creeped out, but at the same time, you're like, this is awesome because it's intense. The only thing I recommend is don't drive a car and listen to the song because it's quite possible you'll end up with a speeding ticket. Oh, man. <laughs> That's some incredible music. All right. We're about it's to jump. It's a lot of fun. Into... Yeah, yeah. We're about go to ahead. jump yeah, into it. Uh, I Bring Death by Adam Music Project, and then we'll be back for more questions. But for right now, guys, here it is. I Bring Death. Oh, I forgot to mention. We have a traditional hot seat. Of course, this is optional, but you could perform for us if you wanted to. You could rap, sing, poetry, spoken word, tell a joke, tell a story from your life, give them some advice, play an instrument. Uh, the choice is really yours. Uh, like I said, it's optional. You don't have to. Uh, again, guys, here it is. I bring death. Stay tuned.
glad I wasn't driving. Man. Uh, so there are certain uh, songs that I listen to that if I'm not careful, the accelerator will, yeah, pedal will be, well, what what is it? Pedal to the metal? Yeah, will be to the floorboard. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring Adam back on. Hey, 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 welcome back. You're back live with us and in our hot seat. What are you going to perform for us? Well, first of all, that was the ballad on the album. I hope everybody enjoyed the slowest song on the album. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually do not sing that track. I am the demon whisper voice. Ah. So what I will do is, I am the nightmare. I take your last breath. Take your last breath. That's one of my parts. And then I play the guitars, and I play the bass, and I play the keyboards on that particular track. And um, and that's the performance you're going to get out of me tonight. If I knew I was going to be on the hot seat, I would have had my singers with me and the other instrumentation here. But <laughs> that's as good as it's going to get here on Vigilante Radio without a music project. No, but that was uh, – it's a killer song, and we had a lot of fun making it. And I hope the Apex Legends fans out there and the hard rock fans know that kicked butt. And I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you this, Adam. Which character is your favorite from Apex? So I'm a Mirage main. Okay. So I wrote a song on Apex Rising Part 1, and it's called Me, Myself, and I. And for people that know Mirage, they know exactly what that song would mean. I actually brought a choir in um, to sing the word bamboozled. So you've been bamboozled. So basically, <laughs> uh, we have a killer choir that sings that, and I brought these ladies in. They're amazing. And I said, now, ladies, I know you do a lot of choir singing at church. Have you ever sang the word bamboozled before? And they said, no. I said, the good news is you will be today. And the even better news is that's the only word you need to sing. So you're good to go. And so uh, me, myself, and I was written about Mirage. I'm a 10K Kill Mirage diamond player. So I do play ranked. I probably play when I'm not busy and not making music. I play three to four hours a day. Uh, I'm a ranked player. If anybody out there listening is an Apex Legends player, my uh, gamer tag is Tgon, T G O N E eight three two. So it's Tgon eight three two. If you want one of the top one percent Mirage players on your squad, reach out to me. I'd love to join you and have some fun. All right, cool. I definitely have to hook you up with my brother, man. He plays that thing religiously. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because there's a lot of different musical styles that people listen to that play Apex, right? There's a lot of hip hop. Yeah. There's a lot of R&B. There's a lot of pop. You know, but we brought the rock, and oh, so yeah. uh, that's what that's what we're trying to do. Oh yeah, I can't wait here. I can't wait to hear the song about Bloodhound. That's my character. Uh, so Bloodhound is called Making History. It's a brand new single just released two weeks ago. Oh. If you go to the YouTube page, not only can you listen to the song, my man, you can watch the video. And my buddy Tyler Anderson, who's one of the artists on the project, as well as one of my guitar techs. He's also an engineer, and he does lead guitar in the song Beautiful. He is the guy whose uh, gameplay I am featuring in the video, making history about Bloodhound, who is a recon legend. For those who know, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have an S-tier recon legend on your team, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. Very crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man, uh, one final question. Um, how did your background sure. in producing and signing independent artists inform your approach to creating the Adam Project? Like, well, what, what, I'm a brand new act. I'm a brand new act. And so, like I said to you, you know, I have no fan base. We're just building it up. Although, you know, what's pretty cool about this, my man, is we released our first EP in July of last year. Mm -hmm. We've had almost 4 million streams wow. across, uh, across Spotify, Apple, TikTok, and YouTube, YouTube combined. That's so what incredible. we discover is that a lot of people that you know partake in music now are what they do, what is called bite-sized sample portions. So they're taking samples off of YouTube, they're listening to it off of TikTok, but it takes them a while before they dig into the full song, right? Because we're such a fast-paced culture. We're scrolling and scrolling and you know, listening to 15 seconds of this, and do I like the song, 20 seconds of that. But I promise you, if you dig into what we've done, the top-tier production, top-tier artists, top-tier singers, if you love harmonies, you're going to love Making History, which is about Bloodhound. I wrote it specifically to be throwback to sound like Motley Crue meets 38 Special, sprinkled in with a little modern rock, 
and that's called Making History. You can check that out uh, today. It's adammusicproject.com, and you can uh, go there and check it out. All right, all right. Listen, it's everywhere. It's, it's all over the place. Yes. Listeners, just in case you didn't get the link, I will have it in the description of this episode and in the show notes. So all you guys have to do is just click the links. Well, Adam, is there anywhere else that we can uh, connect with you online? Yeah, so the, the, uh, the four main places to get without a music project right now that I work actively, YouTube channel is very active, so it's at Adam Music Project. TikTok, we've got up to about 18,000 followers right now, and that's at, at Adam Music Project. And then Spotify, Apple, uh, those are the primary places to hang out with us. But we're on Pandora, we're on Deezer, we're on everything. If you can get it, we're there. Nice. And again, guys, we will have all those links in the description of this episode and in the show notes. So all you guys have to do is just click the links. Well, Adam, man, I want to thank you so much for joining our uh, discussion tonight. Uh, It was a thrill to have you. I really do appreciate it. And next time we'll come back and we'll talk about my favorite recipes and culinary uh, activities. Oh, man. What else can you do, man? What else can you do? (laughs) <laughs> That's a good question. You should ask my wife. She'll tell you I'm a man of many talents. Ah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty man. funny. All right, so I can't help myself. Hopefully that was appropriate, but I can't help myself. Oh, yeah, that was appropriate. <laughs> all, right, all right, there we all go. Right. All right, we're in the game. Yes, sir. Well, man, have a blessed night. Talk to you soon. You too, my friend. Thank you. you. Have a great night. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio Live. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab it from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, Spotify, CastBox, iHeart's Radio, iTunes, YouTube, the app Podcast Addict, or over at our website which again is only one media group.com and that goes for every single show that we've ever aired if you like to request some music or send something for me to play email it to v radio at only one media group.com that is v as in victor and here's my disclaimer we are genre free we do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone And actually scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show, so deal with it. (laughs) Just kidding. On behalf of myself, Denny, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat, TikTok, and all social media sites as well as Spreaker, YouTube. We always follow back. Okay, well, just remember to put yourself into everything that you do and never stop investing in yourself. Peace, love, grilled cheese, and talk with you later. You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.